Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Adam with ND72. So today we're back with the ML55. So this video is going to be kind of a mix up of a lot of little things I did on the car that wasn't like a full complete video that I kind of just put together. But one of the big things that I do have a problem with the ML right now is ever since I did the body lift, the radiator does not hold in there. So with the factory mounts, it doesn't hold anymore. It wibbles all over, which is bad for a few reasons. I take this thing off-roading. I go through my backyard like every day and going through the water behind my house almost every other day. And I damaged my radiator. It's been shaking around so much, it basically slowly started hitting stuff and rubbing in stuff. And it's an old radiator anyways. So I tried JB Weld. It did not work. So what we're going to be doing today, one of the things, we're going to put a radiator in here, power steering pumps, a lot of little things I just have been videotaping for a while. And I'm going to show you how I modified this to make the radiator fit nice and snug. So you're perfectly good with a one inch lift and this this mod will work with a one inch body lift two inch three inch you have to adjust what i'm showing you what to do all right let's get to it so you can see how bad like the big issue i have is these don't fit inside there anymore so it's just flopping all f around and then i try to jb weld over here because that kind of shook loose and it's leaking on the bottom so basically i got a big leak well not a big leak but slow enough where it was taking a couple days to actually do it so we're going to fix that today so there's two ways there's a few ways to fix this what i saw is a couple of you were cutting the lower bracket off and then raising it up about an inch i was debating on doing that but my only issue is if you don't cut it perfectly your radiator is gonna be a little bit off you could have so many issues and you gotta know how to weld for that also the other issue if i ever want to go with another inch on the body lift i gotta recut that off all over again so what i built and i already tested it and i'm going to show you how it works is right here these teeny little pipes so basically there are one inch and a quarter pipes that then I put in the vise and make it an oval to fit perfectly where it goes on the radiator. So I cut it perfectly so it's basically going to go in here and really what we're doing is just extending this up. So we're still using all the factory stuff, just extending them. And also the benefit of that if I ever go a little bit higher on the body lift, I just extend it another inch or whatever I need. So since this radiator is already trash, we're going to rip apart this whole radiator, fix all this stuff, put a brand new radiator in here, see what it does. All right, so we got them in, and man, this thing is effing sturdy. And we got the new radiator in. So as you see, I have them protruding out a little bit just because that was kind of like factory. It's not hitting at all, if you could even see that. But holy poop, this thing is solid. Pretty, pretty happy about it. Not bad. We got everything back on. So we're just going to clean it all up and keep moving on. We're going to bring the ML55 back in the garage, and we're going to do a couple little things. First of all, I got maintenance stuff. I always had the reservoir leaking, so I got a new reservoir gasket and clip because they're like two dollars and then i got some mercedes certified power steering fluid now i got the clips and uh this stuff from fct euro i'll put a link below all right so we took the reservoir out it's pretty straightforward so ah I'm making a mess you're gonna have a hose that connects to be right here which is this one right in here you got that hose where you just take a screwdriver to pop out and then right here you got an inverted torx that bolt will come right out and then all you do is put a pry bar and this whole thing will slide right out so here's the old gasket I don't know if you could actually tell on film, but in human form, it's definitely smushed in. And this is what a brand new one will look like right here. So you could see how much, like, maybe you can't tell on camera, but it's definitely a big difference. So we're going to replace, I didn't need to replace the reservoir. I might keep it, I might just chuck it. It was so cheap that I'm replacing it just in case there was a crack or anything like that. And now we're just going to clean it all off and put a new one on. So also what we got here for the ML55 is I took out the front drive shaft, which was this one, because I was getting a loud clinking noise, and I'm going to see if I can try to show you with one hand, see? Can you hear that? So what it is, is right in here, it's all blown apart. So I have so much play right there. And I mean, it's not that big a deal. This is a, like, 20-year-old truck. So it's got a little bit of play there. So I found a rebuild kit for this, and it cost, like... Everything for the rebuild kit was roughly like 120 bucks, or what I got, brand new, shipped to the house with fast shipping, which I got here in two days. This was $140. This has a 10-year warranty on it, and like, this is no play. Like, the joints are so much stiffer, and it saves me so much time of not having to rebuild it or anything. So we're gonna go and throw this brand new one in. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna throw it in, then I'll show you what bolts to take out. It's actually really easy, and it should get rid of that noise that I was having over here. And, I mean, God forbid this might have just blown out one day. And it's all painted and nice. So we're going to throw this one in there, and it should help out. All right, so we got the new one in. It's really not that bad once you remove this whole brace that goes over here. And remove this brace, it's a few 16s. There, there, and there. And then make sure you support the transmission because it's the, or <clears throat> make sure you support 
the transfer case because it's a transfer case bracket. So to do the drive shaft, it's pretty easy. These are 16 bolts also. There's four of them. And then you got... Ah, I'm going to scoot over. Over here. Where's that? Those Allens is a 7. And then all you do is just break them loose, spin them around. Just make sure that when you are tightening them, you go from like you cross it. And it's pretty easy. I'm like, this thing is out now. Like 500 are better than like it ever was. So we're really good. So we're going to go throw this bracket back on. We just kind of pressure washed it. And then we should be good with this part. All right, guys. So as you can see, we got the ML55 basically all back and ready. We took it for a little bit of mudding. That's why it's kind of dirty right now. Um, so today with the drive shaft, that took a lot of that weird vibration out. We did the power steering pump, and I've been driving around for a little bit. No leaks. And I will say this. The radiator, oh my effing God. I'm so glad I did that after I kind of cracked the other one from the body lift. But those like little posts I made cost me like almost nothing. It was scrap metal, but anyone else who wants it, you probably could just go to like uh, Lowe's or something like that. It'll probably cost you $5, and they're very easy to do like I showed you. So I'm going to give you a nice little once over of the car and all that stuff of look how the mounts worked again after I've been driving it for about a couple weeks and going off-roading with it. And they are still super strong. So as you can see, we took the truck a little bit of mudding. We didn't go too far deep. I kind of just went as far as the bumper on some spots. Not a big back and forth and stuff. I did get mud that flung all the way up over there. But even after all the back and forth, you can see my coolant reservoir. Let's see if you can actually see the bubbles. It's still, I mean, I filled it up a little bit high, so it's like right there-ish. So no water leaked out, no nothing. And this brand new radiator, I'm gonna try to touch it. I'll touch it right here. Like This thing is effing solid. You can see these things ain't moving at all. They cleared it and they don't even, they don't pull out. They are perfectly in there. And I am so happy. I feel so much more comfortable and how safe this radiator is. Oh, it's still a little hot. And one little funny thing is wood smell like a poop smell. And I'm pretty sure I found out what it was. I got mud all over the exhaust tips and it was just kind of like burning away on there. But I'm super happy. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you like my kind of little update of a mix, a couple little things that we did to the ML55. The big thing I think is going to help a lot of people, like I said, is... When you do the body lift, the radiator drops. That should help out a lot. If you guys got any questions, you could hit me up on Instagram at BuffyCLK500. Or just leave a comment below. I'll try to answer everyone. Sometimes when you DM me, I don't. it doesn't go to like my exact file. It goes somewhere else. So if you throw a comment down, that helps out a lot. Throw some likes down there. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Maybe share this video to friends. If you want more of the ML55 stuff, I'll definitely keep them coming. I think the next couple of videos are going to be E55. We're going to be adding a lot of power to that car. Well, not a lot, but a good enough. And talk to you guys later. See you next time.